um, I, I was, I was still wondering over what I had seen and heard. I was still wondering over the things that God has said that the Oval Office will be vacated by the one who would win um, this current election, which is the man we know as Joe Biden. God said that Mr. Biden would not take his term to the full. He would not complete his term in the seat. He would abdicate his space. The word the Lord used is retire, but I will speak more on that in a further video because the Lord did speak to me quite a few days in succession about this, probably because of my own shock um, concerning what he was saying. He said that the man called Joe Biden would be retired and that his VP, Kamala Harris, would take the seat. Brothers and sisters, I'm here announcing that the Lord God is saying that even though America has elected a male administration, they should get ready to see their vice president become the president. The president of this nation, who is about to be inaugurated in a few days, will be retired. He will leave his post, and the woman who is his vice now will inherit the seat of the nation's most important office by default. God was speaking to me and telling me that Biden will exit stage left. I saw a vision. And in that vision, I saw Joe Biden in a wheelchair. He looked very frail and you could see he looked really, really old and spaced out. He looked confused, like he didn't know where he was. He looked spaced out. And as I watched a big bulky man like security, he quickly moved forward and he covered Joe Biden's knees with a woolly blanket. Right, So he, he covered the man's knees with a blanket and he tucked the blanket in securely around his knees. And then he turned left and he wheeled him off a stage. And as he was wheeling him off on one end, Kamala Harris walked on stage from the other end. She had a mask on and she was doing that two-handed, um, this is my moment wave. So she was doing that two-handed wave and there was a whole crowd of very excited supporters cheering her and she was very well received, you know, with wild excitement. And that's what I saw. It. That's the way it's going to be. Also, America will be very surprised by elections. It's not written here, but it was just on my heart to let you know that there's going to be election violence. America is not a place that has election violence. People stand in line and they li literally click a button and vote that way. Very civilized, but God was putting on my heart. I was feeling that for the first time, you're going to see skirmishes and upsets at the polls where people vote. People are going to be upset. People are going to be having these, hey man, blah, blah, blahs. They're going to be having that kind of thing. Let the dogs have what have already what has already fallen to the floor. You already have a female president. You just don't know it. You just can't see it. You actually think that there is still a contest. On November the 4th, I was having dreams, I think, where I saw Kamala Harris, and she was saying, I'm the president of the United States. I was thinking, what are you talking about, lady? This presidential race is between... Donald Trump and Joe Biden, you're barely on the ticket. You're just an add-on, you know? At the time that nobody was looking at Kamala Harris, at the time that nobody was looking at her, everybody was looking at Joe Biden and Donald Trump, the Lord Jesus Christ said that Kamala Harris was going to be president of this country, saying that Barack, um, saying that Joe Biden is going to bring two people with him into the White House one of those people would be Kamala Harris and the other person would be Barack Obama. It is now official. CNN projects that Donald Trump has been elected president, defeating Vice President Kamala Harris and making a political comeback unlike any in modern American politics.